Hello everybody, and thank you once again for joining me for this here video. Now, something I like to do while we are in between sets and waiting for, you know, other events to come out, like it's kind of the middle of the week for me, so I like to look at my quests, I'm behind, I didn't kill 15 of my opponent's creatures, and I've got to cast 20 green or white spells. So it is the perfect time to kill a few birds with one cat, so to speak. I'm going to play my green and white cat deck. Now, I don't think cats are ready for a comeback just yet. After losing Regal Caracal, it's kind of a kind of a bear. Ha! <laughs> Pun intended. But take a look at what we have in the space for like a cat tribal theme right now. Um, I am running three charges. I think charge is highly underrated right now. I like to, I like for one mana, all creatures get plus one, plus one. I think that's kind of strong. We'll see how it goes. Um, four Leon and Vanguards, one casting, one one. It gets bigger when another, if you have two other creatures in play at the start of combat, and you gain a life, so it's two, two. I'm running four Fountains of Renewal, just for the, really for the card draw. Because in the green and the white space, there isn't a whole lot of card draw right now. And I like this as a way to to burn it for, for the card draw. I think that'll come in pretty handy. Four Johnny's Pride Mates, good old kitty who gets bigger. Whenever you gain a life, you put a plus one, plus one counter on him. Three Rabid Bites. Okay, this is to remove a pesky creature that could be in the way. This would only be a dead card if we're up against a creatureless control deck, which could happen, but, but we'll see. Four crushing canopies. So I have a feeling that if we're running a control deck against a control deck, they will have um, Search for Escanta out, or they will run their own Conclave Tribunals, and we could destroy those, or otherwise kill a creature with flying like a Hydroid Crisis or a Doom Whisper or something pesky that might, might be in the way. A Generous Stray. This card is hilarious, right? It's a, a three casting, one, two, who brought you a dead lizard. Like, it's just so funny. And when it enters the battlefield, you draw a card, which is kind of nice for card draw. But there is no... There's no cat tribal. This deck is begging for Radiant Destiny. I just don't have Radiant Destinies. And I'm out of wild cards because uh, so I've been playing... See, I've got like zero rares, so I've been playing around with like more competitive decks, but whatever. It's fine. Um, one of Johnny. You could easily run four of Johnnies and just go to town with counters, and then you put any creature back into the battlefield because they all virtually are, are less than... Uh, two or less in the converted mana cost. Or if you get the emblem off, it's kind of nice because you get three 1-1 one, one white cat creature tokens of life. I think it just fits the theme. Um, with Radiant Destiny, I think we're working with something, but there's really not much else to go on except for Leon and War Leader, which is kind of strong too. Um, really, the top end is, is kind of nice. We've got four Conclave Tribunals, so it w takes something away, right? Three Leon and War Leaders. You could do four. I just I'm down to three and don't. <laughs> it's got zero rare wild cards right now. I do have the Vault, but I don't think it's worth popping the Vault for one Leon and War Leader. So I'm gonna go with three. I'm fine with that. I am running two Shalai Voices of Plenty for the the uh, just like the Anthem, really. Quite frankly, for the one one counter on each creature, I think that is worth it. We're running Selesnia Colors, me as well. And then 13 planes, 7 forests, and then 4 sun petals and 2 temple gardens. I'd run 4 and 4 if I had them, but again, we're on a budget. And I don't really worry about it, and I'm not playing this deck in ranked. I don't know that it's going to be a very good deck or or not, but it's something I've been kicking around ever since, uh, really ever since Generous Stray came out in Guilds of Ravnica. I thought, man, that, that kitty is onto something. Any cat that brings me a dead lizard is my friend, and I, I want to reward it for bringing me a dead lizard. And uh, I think it's it's worth a play. So. We will see what we're up against here. And I think... I think we die versus Mono Red. I think we die versus Mono Blue. <laughs> oh, well, maybe not. We could Rabid Bite like a Tempest the Djinn. Unless they have uh, like a Dive Down or something. But we'll see. I mean, this is a Sorcery and it's kind of slow. Um... I don't hate this hand. Let's keep it. Let's see what happens. I mean, we're just kind of testing this out for now. All right. That's not awful. So white and black here. If this is like an Orzov Angel Vampire deck, we're toast. Well, maybe not. I mean, see, we've got Crushing Canopy and Rabid Bite, so now we could be in business. And we will see. And then once, if we can get the war leader going, yeah, cast him down. You go for it. You do all that. We're gonna try and eat through as many casts down as we can. I wonder if this charge is tripping him up because it's holding priority. 
And now he's wondering what we could possibly be playing. I'm wondering what he could possibly be playing too. So Fountain of Renewal lands. He's not playing blue. No, we'll play the forest here. And we may need that for card draw after all, like real quick. So let's see what we got going on. Chupacabra, that's... So he's playing Heavy Removal. Chupacabra cast down. I, I think Vraska's Contempt is fully on the board here. Maybe Kaya's Wrath. This might be some sort of Orzov Control style deck. That's kind of weird. So we'll go with War Leader and a little bit of Hope. I mean, he's our war leader is pretty much gone, right? Like he's not gonna. And then, then that begs the question: like, are these extra cards really worth it? Yeah. So there's Roscas. We knew that was coming. But at some point, he's gonna have to be out of removal cards, right? Right. I mean, he doesn't have all of them, does he? Oh, and red. All right. Terrific. Oh, here we go. Um, I feel like we can survive against one Chupacabra for a while with Fountain of Renewal. But if he plays a creature this turn that's of any significance, we could be in trouble. Yeah, it's really effectively one damage because the Fountain's going to give us one more health back. Yeah, so I've got a discard. Not really worried about discarding. I'll discard the creature removal. My theory is that I should be able to block down this Chupacabra. Now he's looking at this stuff going, what the heck is this guy playing? Cats, dude. This is just a cat's deck. It's... Yeah. We'll see if it's any good. It probably isn't. And now I'm not that... I'm not against sacking one of them to get the card draw. But we'll see. Shalai would be nice, also, because she would prevent anything else from getting casted down, that's for sure. And I couldn't get Heartless pillaged. Mm -hmm. Gonna gain a couple life here. I debated throwing in Dawn of Hope. Because Dawn of Hope, uh, when I gain life, I could pay two mana to draw a card. Oh, that's not ideal. <sighs> You're just fuel for the fires of freedom, Kerr. Well, this is disappointing. So Angrath pretty much wins the game again. Although we didn't do a whole lot, so... We need more creatures in the bottom end. Maybe those two two casting three one kitties. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sacrifice this fountain right here. You were such a good fountain of renewal. But now you must go. Goodbye, fountain. What's he got? Oh, he bedeviled my other fountain. Okay. this He's gonna laugh at this. Oh, boy. Okay, so I'm gonna hang on to Shalai. Okay. Angrath's plus one is each opponent discards a card. If I play my pride mate, Shalai gets discarded. Uh, if I don't play my pride mate and I can, and he does the discard move, I can discard my pride mate and save Shalai, and that will protect him from gaining control of all my little creatures. Uh, this, cause this is too little, too late, but I kind of like what is happening with this combo with Shalai anyway, because uh, she can't be casted down. She's legendary. She could be Vraska's just as easily, but I kind of like the whole leave my creatures alone, Charlie. Um, and then she wouldn't die at the end of the turn. So it sacrifices if their mana cost is three or less. Um, I'm going to go ahead and block. So that way... No, nope, I'm not going to block. Perhaps he will try and steal it just so it dies. And he won't make me discard. Perhaps. 
Perhaps I'm going to discard anyway to Heartless Pillage. Such is life. Angrath has come back in a big way this this cycle. That's kind of no neat. Fire, no steel. Okay. Goodbye, Leon and Warleader. I think he dies. This doesn't do much. So he must be playing a version of of the uh He's running three colors in here. Of that Rakdos with some white. So I wonder if he's doing like Seraph, Seraph of the Scales. Also, this is pretty, pretty controlling. Your crew yep. For my freedom. <laughs> A fair price. Yep. All right. And a good old forest. So this game is pretty much over. Two four is going to take him a while. And the odds of this being a Vraska's Contempt or a Mortify are pretty strong. We're at six, we're at four, we're gonna draw in two way. What a forest or a plains. Oh, a Conclave Tribunal, that's kinda nice. Again, too little, too late. But the option is here, and he's running Mortify, which is very smart. So that Mortify is gonna come in, kill the Tribunal. Back to the Devil's Chains in the Stormwreck Sea I go. I think Angrath's voice is cool. Even though it's super disappointing to have him come in and like there it is. There's the plans. Okay. So, let's... Let me, let me, I never like to make a judgment after just one game. It wasn't it wasn't that good of a game, dude. That's fine. Um, but I am thinking that we might need a little bit more help in the lower mana cost range with a deck like this one. And, and cats really aren't quite there yet. At least not where they were. Um, in the prior rotation, you could make a super deadly cat deck, um, and it was Celestia. Although, what if you went like almost Boros colors, like Feral Macaw and and all the burn and all the lighting up of the stages? It's not a bad idea. So we're on the we're on the draw. We got a fountain and a pride mate. This is a cool combo here, and a and a conclave tribunal, and a generous stray. So we're in some sort of business. Although I wish generous stray had more payoff at this point. Oh boy, what's he gonna make us discard? Probably the pride mate, right? Oh, he got a tap land. Perfect. Okay, so the Pride Mate comes down. And in theory, every turn he just gets bigger and bigger and bigger, although he's playing black, so we can bet that he's going to be casted down here pretty soon. I'll go with Card Draw. There's no reason to play the Vanguard right now. I won't trigger the life gain. And I do have two charges, so that's kind of cool. Could drop a Forest. A vanguard, you know what? Red and white cats actually with heroic reinforcements. That ain't bad. Oh, it's the gates deck. Okay, so let's see what we got. He draws a card for that gate. We are going to drop another stray. Draw a card. Good kitty. Drop a vanguard. Gain a life. Hmm. We'll swing in for six, right? Yep. And then we'll save the tribunal to move a gatebreaker ram out of the way or a gatebreaker colossus. He draws a card. Here comes the pesky uh, gates ablaze. Terrific. No gates ablaze. And here's that crushing canopy, so we can actually play this nicely to rid ourselves of the guild summit, which is really his card draw engine, so we're going to protect ourselves against his card draw. Okay. I should have manually tapped those lands, but it's fine. Does he settle? Does he have settle the wreckage? Okay.
That was fun. <laughs> so even if he should play Gates of Blade, Kaya's Wrath, of course. Of course he's playing Kaya's Wrath. Okay, not bad. Perhaps. I mean, he might have... We might play our war leader and he might just get casted down right away or Roska's Contempt or some other means of nefarious removal. 17 health, not terrible. No, 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 no. War leader, thank you. I would have been a little upset had that cast charged by accident. It's the one thing I don't like about reordering cards. Okay, so he attacks. That says to me he might have another idea as a blocker in there. Another archway, that's fine. He gains another 12 life or so, 27. I can live with that. Because I've got another war leader. Yep, and we gain... Although he gates, uh, gates a blazes, right? And then we all die. It's gonna hit us for five if he has one. Charge won't do it. Gate, 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 gate. Yeah, they're all gates. Aurelia! Okay. So that's my Conclave Tribunal target right there. And I can smack him for 20 if he taps out. If he sells out for this attack and saves Aurelia as his primary blocker, I have enough mustard to hit him for 20. But he didn't. I actually should have combat tricked that because he would have blocked a vanguard and I could have charged into it, but I want to be... want to be sure here. So it puts out some heat. I mean, this we are sure doing some damage here. This is... Gosh, he was down to, like, six or eight before. He Archway Angels gets up to 17. Archway Angels again gets up to... It's up to quite a bit here. Now he's holding a Settle the Wreckage, without a doubt, right? Crushing Canopy, because I know we're limited by the creatures uh, with flying. I'm only going to attack with one, two, three, four rats. Yeah, that works. You know, I mean, this is just sort of like a playtest environment. Maybe we sell out. I think if he had a Settle the Wreckage, he lets that Crushing Canopy through. Okay, there we go. Okay, alright, he does it. So that's good to know. Okay, we should wait for Shalai to come out before we sell out an attack. Mental note. Um... But again, I'm not like, we're not playing in a tournament right now, it's no big deal. <laughs> it's not like if we lose, we're out of the game. Um, we're just kind of seeing where cats might fit in. Like I said, I don't think green and white cats are where they used to be for sure. They used to be, this deck used to be lights out, like in the late summer, uh, like July and August. Man, this deck was awesome. But I think it could be something that we could work with if we go with red colors. Right, so like red and white, where we do all the white life gain cats, and then all the red burn and card draw. That could be something, and it's cheaper too. Okay, nothing really to work with. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, so let's take a mulligan. Hopefully, we get something cheaper. Boy. All right, not ideal, and that goes away. So we'll do a Temple Guard, and we will pay two life, because hopefully we should draw some creatures. 
that will trigger our Leon and Vanguard. In theory. <laughs> Not for two more turns, and that's the slow way to do it right here. Although he is strong, I would much rather see him actually come out. Oh, it's a crushing canopy. Okay, one more land and we can play a creature if we don't get... If we don't get thought He's not playing black, though, so no thought erasure. White, blue, green, red, gate, gate, gates. Another gate deck, perhaps? Hopefully not too bad. So we'll save the canopy for a guild summit, which is probably coming down here. Lava coil. Okay. Let's play the lava coil. And we're on the land, the land business. So I think the next test I'm going to put out there for these cats, like this just feels a little weaker than, than I think it should for now. Um, it, not that it should. It feels a little weaker than I want it to. I want it to be strong, but I haven't seen any cat decks, at least in the green and white. I haven't seen any at all uh, since... Uh, the open beta. I haven't seen one, so. I shouldn't have done that. That was poor timing on my part, but I'm glad he clicked through it. Oh, it's still on the stack anyway, so we could tap his lands now and, and, and do whatever. Um, but at least this way, if he draws them, he can't play them and then draw again, so I'm fine with that. So, like, if he saved a uh, growth spiral? Growth spiral? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to use all this mana to my advantage here. And we'll just take out the Gate Colossus. Now, I would run black, and I'd run probably, like, Mortify in this deck. I don't know why they don't. I mean, a black and whatever gate. Is it... Azorius, Gruel, whatever. It's just whatever gates you want to run. Another guild summit, so can't do anything about that one. Hmm. He's drawing a card, he's playing a gate, he's drawing a card, okay. Typical. I really don't like getting shut down with one lava coil, though. That kind of bugs me in, in deck design. And I just left the 24 land base here, so... Maybe a little less land, but I want to have enough to trigger Shalai. I don't need the life gain. I'm going to go ahead and pop it right now to draw a card. Hopefully we get something good. Poop. So I would probably swap out Rabid Bite for like Crawl Harpooner. Uh, if you need to get rid of a flyer, it doesn't hurt to lose a Harpooner. And if they don't have any creatures, then you get a Harpooner. You know what I mean? So like it, it's probably worth it to get the creature or the Rabid Bite, like either or. And then Ra Har Harpooner comes down and would die to the Archway Angel. There's our Gatebreaker Ram. He gets exiled. Unless he saved this blue for a negate. That would suck. Well, this was a not a great draw. Is this a negate? Okay, good. <laughs> what, what is he saving for? Man, that would have ended the game real quick right there. Although, it's not looking so good. I haven't drawn a creature. Uh, I mean, all, all game. I think it's... I haven't drawn one the entire game. That's how it's going to go.
This is very specific mana tapping up here that he's doing. So he's saving... Does he want to save white for a settle the wreckage? I've been down that road before. Hmm. Or a banefire. He's got Hydroid Crisis in there. That's a good idea. 6-6? Six, 7-7? Six? Seven, seven. And a Gate Colossus. He doesn't trample, but I can't block. So this is... If I don't draw anything of value... Actually, there's not much I can do. Even if I do... Okay, so that's the game right there. Two Gate Colossuses. And we don't need to quit early. I do want to see what this next draw is. Drawing one creature isn't going to do it. So I feel like we both need more cats and something else to generate cat tokens. Like the Regal Caracal was nice because it generated two cat tokens and gave them all plus one plus one. Really missing that in the cat space. And I like cats. I think that's kind of kind of silly. So these guys can't block. They can't block anyway. Um, the uh, Gate Colossus is sort of like a 8-8 eight, eight, um, Steel Leaf Champion, which is kind of cool. I could like Rabbit Bite them though. How about that? I will like rabid bite his gate colossus for one. Like, take that. Roar. You go, kitty. <laughs> you, you do your thing. But maybe the more I think about it, maybe like red and white cats. Red cats don't attack, silly. Red cats for red for the burn, white for the cat theme concept, which is mostly uh, which is mostly this guy here, the Leon War Leader. To continually get tokens, and I know like some people run Divine Visitation for the token that makes a flyer, but I think that's a little more expensive than what we're looking for. Maybe we just do like Boros Cats. Good. Come on. It's all good. Really, just seven? I got nothing, man. I seriously got I, I got nothing, dude. Like this is embarrassing. And now, of course, I'm gonna draw all my little creatures that should have come out on turn one and two and three, when he didn't have anything, but it's... is what it is. It is how the game goes. This is a nice card draw engine. I like this. Another ram. A rabid bite. So, yeah, rabid bite's gotta go. This is on the cut list right here. Um, doesn't do anything. I shouldn't have done that. Now he's gonna think I don't. I have a settle the wreckage or something. He's gonna play it safe. I, I don't. Um, and charge. I don't know. Maybe charge isn't all that great. Maybe it's more like um, that new one. Like, like might of the masses gives him plus one, plus one for each creature you control. That would be kind of nice. And that way, even with the tokens, you still. I'm not blocking. You still get some uh, some value out of it. But for now, I don't think cats. Are as strong as definitely not as strong as they used to be, and they're still not quite up to up to par here. Um, so I think I will play with like red and white cats one day, one day here pretty soon. To see if there's like a burn option we could do. That sounds kind of fun. Um, but again, that's something that I, do. I didn't win a single game. Look at that. That's something I do to like get through some of my daily quests every once in a while. Like yeah, I just got to play some some green and white colors, and then I'll go back to like the typical like monocolor decks that I know can win in games just to get some wins in there to get my gold and get the cards up there. So all right guys, thanks for watching. I do appreciate all the support y'all giving me. It's been a been a lot of fun, so I will keep it up.